Hello guys, welcome back to another Boom Beach video. So today we are going to be using Grenadiers once again with the medics. I feel like this is one of the strongest strategies in the game. We're going to start out with some Dr. T just to get warmed up and then we will move into some other matches, maybe some player matches or yeah, we'll, we'll get to some player matches today. But yes, I am super pumped for using this strat, man. This strat is amazing. I love it so much. Um, with the medics and the grenadiers, it's like so fun to use because like as you know grenadiers they could kill each other but they don't they choose to stay alive and push through as one I, yeah um but yeah i love how they toss their grenades you can't really predict them they're very unpredictable kind of like the scorchers and maybe that's why i like the scorchers so much now i'm not the best of a strategy I'm pr of course I'm not the best. I'm not the best with any strategy, um, but I am trying to get better because I love it so much. It's not like the best strategy in the game. I would say Scorchers are the best uh, for clearing your map. That is not like high level gameplay or something like that. But like Grenadiers, they're just so fun to use, and I can't stress that enough. If you don't have Grenadiers, get them unlocked ASAP. They're so fun to use. Like look at that. Look at that, they just wiped out the base and only a few defenses can hit the Grenadiers. Um, so once we start getting into that high amounts of HP on these bases, I'm not going to be able to keep going. Because Grenadiers will take forever to take down the HQ then. So like, so we'll do like this stage and then we'll do stage 5 or something and then we'll stop. Um, because, well, you know, I can't really go far with Grenadiers. Um, and I, I don't want to lose my grenadiers because that means I have to retrain them, which means I have to spend diamonds, which I am saving for the next Boom Beach update for that new building that's going to be coming out. Uh, a lot of people think it's just a reskin on the sculptor, and here's why they are wrong. I, I did, it like, if you look at the sculptor and then you look at that, does it look better? Does it look better, guys? Like, it was it, it would be like a downgrading graphics if it was the sculptor because the sculptor building looks epic um yeah it would be a downgrade and another reason is the sculptor is a four by four and this building in the picture is a three by three um and i did not mean to place a flare but that is totally fine we'll still be able to beat it without losses so yeah it's just important to note that cut out for a second because i rearranged the wires um okay so it's just uh we'll do one more stage of this and then we'll jump onto some player bases um yeah like i was saying it's a downgrading graphics if you look up the two I and mean, then it's also downgrading the size which i doubt they would do i just rhymed i feel it's like dr seuss <laughs> okay um and then what else there was one more point i was gonna make but i forgot okay we are gonna be doing a shock here just because we can just to get our medics all in a line and like what do you think it is christian um i think it's it's I, I i think it's going to release a new feature um a lot of people say it's going to be like a clan castle where you can donate truth but that's wrong because uh donating troops is actually a rolled out idea and like if you look at it uh donating troops wouldn't really work in boom beach because like like i guess uh maybe i don't know and it's like a trade conversion thing. Like if you could trade stuff for a other stuff that's also rolled out. Um, but trading gold for modules was actually my idea. And I hope it is that. And if it is, well, I would love it. Because having an idea of mine in Boom Beach, that would be awesome. Uh, yeah, these cannons are actually hooked on to my troops. So, okay, it's down now. We're gonna drop some critters on the shock just to take that down. We did lose one, but that is fine. We're not gonna go on to the next one because see how long this is taking. And I just don't have the gumbo energy to take down buildings ahead of time. Um, but yeah, uh, I think it's going to be um, something that releases a new feature instead of a building that just does nothing. Um, I, I say this in every single video. This is like my second time I said this in the last two days. Um, it's like they need to release a feature to keep the game going, not a building. So uh, that's why I think it's going to be a, a, a feature, not a building. And what I mean by that is if they bring out... I, I'm not going to explain this again. 
you guys don't need to hear this again. If you want to hear what I'm about to or what I was going to say, just go to any of my recent videos and you'll hear me say that. Uh, actually, go to my March 2016 update video, update wishlist video. Uh, where, where's the sculptor? Sculptor's right there. See, that's actually a downgrade in graphics if you look at the two. Um, now, a point I made was they look very similar. The colors are pretty much the exact. And the sculptor kind of has the same colors as the, uh, as the warrior. So what I think is going to be, it's going to have something to do with a warrior or a native. Um, so what does have a native or a warrior? Well, um, I don't know. I, I think you're going to try to bring something of a native aspect. Like, you remember in the tutorial, they'll try to bring the native aspect back. Don't look at that. Um, but, yeah. Anyway. So... We are just gonna wipe out this base. See, see how overpowered the strategy is. Like some bases, it's awful, but some bases, it's just amazing. Like I could clear this base, and I will clear this base without losing any troops. Like uh, I love it so much. Okay, so there is some little stuff. Uh, pretty much everything else that's gonna be able to hit me is not gonna be able to kill my troops. So I feel like we're pretty. I feel like we're doing good. Um, the reason these troops haven't moved forward into that little... Into the cannon there was because of that shield generator. This, my mom is messing up my train of thought. Don't worry, guys. I'll text her back. Don't worry. I just need to finish this battle here. Drop some critters just to help. And I know my grenadiers will kill my critters. But it's just... Oops. I almost left the battle. That would have been bad, huh? Okay, see that? Level 58 with uh, health, statue, shield generator. I just annihilated. You know, let's just do a flare over here just because we can. And let's do a flare over here just because we can. Um, dang it, my critters killed it off. Okay, we got a, a lightsaber stick, which is awesome. Or two, because there's two there. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to find like a, a little higher level person, not 51, like 60 and up maybe, this guy. We'll scout him out. He can't have like prototypes like Doom Cannons or Shock Blasters, which he doesn't. He does have a lot of health, but I want to show you the powers. This guy's about 50% health boost, but I want to show you the powers of the Grenadiers. And I want to show you how overpowered these Grens are. These Grens, yes. The Grens. There we go. We're just taking out that cannon because cannons on the front are going to be the worst thing here. Um, and that's just because, dang it, I, I lost one. Because of these stupid... You just gotta get in line first. And then as soon as you get in line, everything's in line. Your medics can heal you up. And there's no, like, sniper towers around. And then that's when you could, like, really just clean out the base. Like, you just need to get in line first. And that's the real, like... That's what you have to, that's like the real problem. And dang it, that was a fail shock. We're gonna drop another one here. I can't lose Grenadiers, man. Uh, it's space is a lot harder than the other one. I will lose some, take out the cannon, please. Please, good. Okay. Ah, uh, gosh, I'm losing them like crazy now. Oh man, okay, we're dropping a shock here. And da -da -ba -ba -ba. I mean, I could do a flare over here, I guess. We'll just do that. Just to get out of range of all those unnecessary buildings that we don't have to go to. And now there's that boom cannon there. Uh, boom cannons are the problem, guys. Boom cannons are the problem. Uh, we're just going to drop an artillery. See, this is something you really don't want to do. Like I said before, uh, I am not the best of this strategy, but... Uh, gosh, this is getting bad. This is getting really bad. I am losing quite a few now, but that is fine because we are almost on the HQ, and once we get on the HQ, we should be good. <sighs> okay. This shock launcher up here is going to be a problem. Okay. Dropping uh, smoke, which was pretty much perfect, because if I didn't do that, all my medics would have died, and that's not what we want. We need our medics to be alive. I didn't mean to drop a smoke. I meant to drop a med kit. Okay. We're going to get all up to full now, guys. All of our troops are up to full. There's only a few buildings left. 
this shock launcher needs to go down ASAP or I'm not gonna beat the base. Um, because that's just gonna soak up more time. And the only thing hitting me is a few rocket launchers and oh my gosh, I'm gonna lose. Well, this is why you don't want to use this on high amounts of HP bases. I, I probably did a bunch of things wrong. I know I did a bunch of things wrong. And all you Grenadier fans are going to go down to the comments and be like, Christian, this is what you did wrong. And I know I did stuff wrong, guys. Like I said before, I'm not good with this strategy. We're just going to retreat. Save one. Go. Go. Yes. <laughs> Save the one Grenadier. And then watch him step on a mine and go boom. Okay, yeah, so we saved one, but uh, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, be sure to drop a like, as always. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.